Kyle Hack, this is Ryan Humbert, Manuel Grebas, and Kasia Park in the video. Uh, the purpose of the project is to scan a uh, room in 3D and to be able to, to get the data and plot it so we, so we can see it virtually in the computer. Ryan is going to show us a demonstration of how, how we've done it. Okay, so we have uh, how we build our 3D scanner. We, we have a a uh, Fluke 414D uh, laser rangefinder. Uh, it's uh, we bought a add-on board from Porcupine Electronics to interface it with the computer. Um, it's mounted on two stepping motors, uh, one to control the uh, horizontal direction and one to control the vertical direction. And the stepping motors um, they'll move in really specific angles. And so what we do is we perform a, a raster scan using the, the laser range finder. And what we'll actually end up doing is taking in the coordinates as, as spherical coordinates. And then we, we keep that in a log file and then we run a, a, a conversion uh, program to convert those coordinates into Cartesian coordinates, which uh, build a point cloud, um, which can then be directly uh, viewed by MeshLab, which is a 3D model viewer. Um, we'll just do a quick demonstration for you real quick. Um, we're using a uh, Python to perform all the formal measurements and logging. So we'll just turn on the power supply and, and then run our script. Um, and as you'll see the the laser moving down, and it'll start moving to the left, and it'll it'll just keep going in this kind of S pattern, raster pattern. Um, see that. And while it's doing that, it's logging it's logging measurements into a log file. And so we'll take this log file once it's completely done, and uh, run a parser on it, and that which will convert it to Cartesian for our point cloud. That's pretty much it. Okay, um, the data it's collected, and um, then um, we put it on a file for to be able to display it on MeshLab. Um, once we get it out in MeshLab, we um, use the Oculus hardware to be able to get a 3D image. Um, and the good thing about this one is that the Oculus can be able to um, capture the movement with your head, and so you can be able to get the reality of the 3D of the object. Yeah. So, the future improvement is to be able to figure out how to scan an object faster. Uh, right now, it takes quite a bit of time to scan a little faster. So we want to be able to scan a whole room if possible and to be able to use that for ge geology or neon applications. So that's the project.